Hi, I'm Carrie with EPB, and today we're talking about this stuff, insulation. What is it? What does it do? And what kind works best? Let's see what we can learn. So first of all, to understand what insulation does, it's helpful to understand what air does. Warm air always wants to flow toward cooler air and mix with it until there's no temperature difference. That means that in colder months, when you're running the heat, that warm air wants to escape your house toward the cool air outside. And in the summer, when you're cooling your house, warm air from outside wants to get in. And this is why you need insulation. Insulation is made out of a material that resists heat flow, which makes it harder for warm air to get into or out of your home. That resistance is measured in a unit called R-value. The higher an insulation's R-value, the better a job it's doing to keep heat where it belongs. And now that we know the basics, let's talk to one of the energy pros at EPB, Wayne Cagle, to see what else we can find out. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for being here. We're going to jump right in. What are the different types of insulation and which ones work best? There's different kinds. There's fiberglass, cellulose, spray foam, mineral wool, and which one works best according to where, what situation you're using on them. Okay, so it just depends. Yes. Okay. If you're, you, you don't want to put blown insulation, you know, on the floor. I mean, it's not going to hold. Not. That's right. It's not going to hold. So different situations. And one thing you do need to make sure okay. if you've got a faced insulation, that face, that paper part needs to be facing the conditioned part of the house. Okay. Can you tell us what type of R value should we look for? Uh, every area in the United States has a different rating. Okay. You know I mean, you might be one through five. For your area, you've got to be in a, a zone. Okay. And we're like in a zone four. Okay. And for Chattanooga, the floor insulation is an R19. Okay. The wall insulation is R13 to an R23. And the ceiling is an R38 to an R49. So it depends on where you are in the country and it depends on yes. where you are in the house. What about tips for keeping your insulation in working order? How do you prolong? <laughs> well, the, the biggest thing is you don't want to go up in your attic and compress that insulation by walking on it. Okay. Anytime insulation is compressed, it loses its R value. That's why they say stay off the insulation. Right. Like you hear, don't walk on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's exactly gonna... right. And you don't want to put a wood floor on it and okay. compact it or anything. Plus, you don't want to when you're putting it in a wall or underneath the floor. You do not want to compress it. It real tight then either. Okay. You want it to be fluffy. And one thing I do want to say is make sure that you don't overlook the air sealing when and when you're doing your insulation. What what is air sealing? Air sealing is where you've got penetrations going like if you're in the attic and you've got a pipe this big, uh -huh. but you've got a hole that big, you need to seal around there okay. so the heat does not come down through the that attic. Makes sense. And right. you would also do that up underneath the floor. So where where would I start? Who do I call? We have a qualified contractors list at EPB, and you can go through there and call them and get different ones to come out and give you prices and to see which one you think is best for you, and they'll go over everything you need. So you're not having to start from scratch. You've got a list. You can go in there and try and find somebody. That's right. So what should I expect in terms of, of contractors coming out? Like, Do most of the contractors want to come out and do an estimate? before you get started? Yeah, they will need to look at the situation. I mean, how much insulation you already have, the access of how to get to it, okay. and then they can give you a price on that. And also they're gonna be looking at the air ceiling to see, do we need to charge you for air ceiling or is it already done? Okay. You don't have it and we can just do the insulation. Okay, that's helpful. Thanks again, Wayne. That was great info. And now we know, maximizing that R value can go a long way toward minimizing our heating and cooling costs. If you have any other questions about insulation or anything else, just give the EPB Energy Pros a call or submit a request at epb.com slash energy pros. We'll even come check out the insulation at your home and make some recommendations for free. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.